Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So with about two days to go before the start of the 350 million download celebration, we finally got some more information about a few of the upcoming events. So without further ado, let's pop into the news here and see what's going on. Okay, so last night there were one, two, three, four, four new events announced. And uh, we'll just take a look at these individually. So starting with the new stage for the Grand Priest event, it says a new stage will be added to the limit event, Awaken Power, a trial toward New Horizons. The treasure item, Proof of Ordeal 2, can be obtained upon defeating the boss in the new stage. Open the corresponding secret treasure chest with Proof of Ordeal 2 to obtain skill orbs exclusive to the characters related to the uh, special event, Ginyu Force Special Training and stay tuned for the new stage. Okay, so initially, this event was only for um, the Team Bardock skill orbs, but obviously they're adding a new stage so we can get skill orbs for the Ginyu Force because they're all getting Extreme Z Awakenings with an upcoming Extreme Z Area event, which uh, hasn't been announced officially in the game yet, but we know about it because uh, they talked about it in the recent B-Jump League, right? So uh, that's the first thing, new stage for the Ginyu Force skill orbs. And then, number two, we have a new stage for uh, the challenge event, Boss Rush, and this will be stage 13 of Dokkan event, Boss Rush, will soon be available. And this one, of course, will be brand new for both Global and JP, so we don't know exactly which events will be included, but generally speaking, it's about five Dokkan events, and uh, we get 35 stones for clearing it. So there you go, stage 13 of Boss Rush is coming. And then we have two brand new story events. So this first one is called Ruler of the Universe and the Warrior Race, Emperor's Intentions. And at the very bottom, it also says recruit SSR Zarbon to your team. Now, this is super exciting because up to this point, we haven't had a usable Zarbon yet. So I'm sure this one's going to be really good. Can't wait for that. Um, it does kind of ruin my prediction from a few days ago though when I said the side unit or you know the extreme banner for the upcoming Dual Dokkan Fest would be a transforming Zarbon, so I don't think that's going to be happening. But at the very least, I was kind of close, right? Because we are getting a new Zarbon and probably a really good one. Okay, so story. A legendary warrior that appears once in a millennium, the Super Saiyan. Frieza had always wanted to eliminate the Saiyan race to curb the possibility of a Super Saiyan emerging from the Saiyans who had become powerful over time. Having eliminated the Saiyan race as planned, Frieza laughed out loud. <laughs> he lolled, okay, as he watched Planet Vegeta explode. What Frieza did not notice was a space pod carrying a Saiyan uh, infant had escaped the explosion of Planet Vegeta and was heading towards a distant planet, Earth. Okay, cool. I'm sure most of you guys uh, are familiar with this story at this point. And uh, we have some information about this Zarbon. Now, this is, of course, pre-Extreme Z Awakening, so he will be even better. And most likely, he'll also get an Extreme Z Awakening in Part 2 of the celebration. But uh, yeah, for the SSR Zarbon, he's called Clever and Rational Staff Zarbon. Passive attack and defense plus 60% plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed, up to 40%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 40% when there is an ally whose name includes Frieza, Frieza soldier excluded, attacking in the same turn. Demonstrate the strength of Frieza's right hand man by increasing his power. Okay, so once he Dokkan awakens, I'm assuming that it's going to be like attack and defense plus 80 to 100%, and then maybe additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack performed up to 80% to 100% once again and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 60 to 80% when there is an ally whose name includes Frieza so yeah I would expect like a 20% to 40% increase across the board for all of these and uh, you know he's not going to be doing anything special at least on the surface maybe he transforms who knows but uh, he's going to be getting a huge attack boost and a huge defense boost, actually. So overall, I just think he's going to probably be a really, really good free to play unit and also just a good Zarbon, which is something we've never had before. And uh, on top of that, we're also getting a new support memory through this story event called Captain Ginyu's Super Fighting Pose. 
and I would assume that it buffs Ginyu Force, but we'll see. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that is the first new story event. And then we have a second story event, which is also called Ruler of the Universe and the Warrior Race. But the subtitle this time is Legend of the Super Saiyan. And it also says Recruit SSR Goku to your team. As far as the story goes, uh, a legendary warrior that appears once... Oh, hold on. It's the same thing. Oh, never mind. Okay, so these two parts are the same, but they added this part. Having discovered Frieza's plan, Bardock fought against Frieza by himself until the very end, yet he stood no chance against Frieza's overwhelming power and was eliminated along with Planet Vegeta. However, the space bod carrying Bardock's son, Kakarot, escaped the explosion of Planet Vegeta and headed towards a distant planet, Earth. Okay, so essentially the same thing. They just rewarded it a little bit, but that's fine. And for the event details, it says... We can recruit the uh, Fizz Super Gravity Training Goku, who might look familiar to some people because he's actually not new. He was available during the third anniversary, but obviously a lot of people playing right now maybe weren't around for the third anniversary, so now's your chance to get him again. And uh, I'm assuming he also gets an Extreme Z Awakening in part two, so that's gonna be nice. But uh, there you go, new slash old Goku available from this event. And it doesn't seem like there's going to be a new support memory, but uh, that's going to be the second part of this story saga, I guess. And there you go. Yeah, four things announced in the news last night. I'm sure there's more stuff coming, but this is just a little preview. And we should be getting a data download fairly soon, most likely uh, within the next 24 hours. So definitely stay tuned for that. But uh, that's going to be today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys are just hyped for the 350 million download celebration obviously we got the stream coming up in about four days i will be live with a few people at that time so tune into the watch party if uh, if you can and that's gonna be today's video man thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.